Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Iology. So today Mojo is uh, available for installing and playing with and I thought that maybe we can have a, a small uh, video walking through that and see what are the problems that we see and what are the benefits. Uh, so for having that you need to go to, we have two kind of uh, definition like let, we can have a let and we can have a var. So the let means that it is a constant vari variable, good definition. But the uh, interesting part is that if I have something like this and I say print A, for example, in Python I can run it. Yeah? But in Mojo, for running this, I need to say mojo test.mojo and it will, won't run because it needs the main function. So we need to have a function main and uh, for that, it needs a main definition like C programming language. Of course, if you uh, like developing a library, you don't need that main function, main entry point. Uh, so that is the first difference. Another difference is that as soon as I add this, it said warning, AA declared as var but never muted. Consider switching to a let, so it's not being used. That's why it's saying it's not used. Uh, yeah, so it's not like Python. It's give me the sense of it's like a C. Uh, C++. So for example, I have defined a variable here, so I can say this is an integer and I can define the definition of that. We can do that in Python too, but the primary type are like int, float, 32, stuff like that are different than Python. So if I have a function here, let me have a function here like fn add or like modify, something like that, modify, and I get a yeah, and I get also another uh, input variable as B. So like Python, we can have the output definition. For example, it can get integer. It can give us the integer. And for example, I'm doing just add. And so it, it will be called correctly. Yeah. So when I pass, let me have two variable here, like X and another variable Y. And instead of this, I will pass x and y, and I have a variable z. So if I, like here, if I say, let me change the name to be consistent with that part. So if I do something like x plus 1 and y plus 1, let me also, maybe it's better to have a print a statement on x and print a statement on y. So if I do something like this, x and y is 1 and 2 because 1 and 2 is defined here. This is owning its own x and y. So it's like copying the variable there. And when, when you do something like in and out, in out, so you are, when you write this, you having 2 and 3 because everything applied here is also applied here. It's like passing by reference there. And if you do not do something, which means that it is borrowed, so you're not able to change them. So it's like a const definition somewhere here when you have it. So that is good. Um, so far, so good. So I need to, for example, in this case, I need to define in out to able to change them. OK. So these are some of the changes that we have comparing to Python. In Python, we are not able to handle this because if they are not primitive um, instances, uh, if you change it here inside the function, it's like in and out. It's the default in Python is in and out. Um, and yeah, that is the first part. Another thing that we can do with Mojo is that we can import, and in, import syntax is very similar to Python. We can say import from Python, import Python. And if you do that, um, now you can import some of the Python modules. We can say Python import module. And for example, I want to use mm, NumPy, maybe, or Sys, or whatever. And I can define it as the const variable np. OK. And now, because I have it, if I do something like, let me do that. If I do something like print np array, yeah, like this, and if I run this, uh, it said fail to parse the provided. Try surrounding the call in try block. OK. We need to have it in the try catch. So if there is no NumPy, set no NumPy. It is not mentioned in documentation. 
that we, you need to do that, but overall it's okay. So a good point here is that now you can like import anything and uh, import like not anything, most of the thing from Python and you can create that bridge. But that is not the main purpose of Mojo. So um, the single instruction, the parallel and vectorized programming, I think is the uh, most important part of, part of this. So if you open, if you open Mojo, forget about license, but you go to, for example, like Memset, like there are some cool example about how it can be used for fast memory management. And I think if you search for vector, maybe search here, vector, vectorizing, yeah, matrix multiplication. So you see like, you can also write in, in the, this is for notebook. You can write Python in a cell this way. Um, or you can have a class definition like like Python, but these are you see the, the difference is that you have a diff here in the Python. You have f n here. I still don't know exactly what is, what are these differences, but like whenever it's going to the Mojo implementation, which is very similar to C plus plus or C, it's using that function. I'm not sure about it. Many many people can like you can you can talk about that that why. And you see that there are some speed up like four times the speed up or Python just by um, in this case matrix initialization inside Mojo and applying matrix multiplication without any effort. So so far like if you implement your function. So it is just benchmarking that. So just matrix initialization. Where is that? He here. So you will get the uh, like you need to define the attribute that you have in a class here. So in the mat matrix class, you have set item, get item. There are some other attribute that is not defined. Uh, so like rows, columns, append. So these are like returned as attribute as a matrix initialization. So you will have this matrix C, B, and A. And then you are just applying that for inside this compilable language. Why compilable? Because uh, in VS Code, if I come back here, instead of just running this way, I can say build it. And by building that, I have this binary file. So if I search for like, what is this test? It's giving me this that this is the LSP Pi executable for the Geno you know, version that I have. Yeah. So this is this is giving you an executable file. It's compiled now. Which is I think there are some maybe something implemented here for optimization. Should be even faster. Like if I do something like test. In this case it's set in Mojo Python, unable to locate lib Python to list set Mojo Python library, and you need to set that. So there are some other part you need you need to do that, but overall it's like something doable and interesting. So if you back here, like by just applying this to the Mojo, you're able to improve the performance. And after that, I think that's the main part of the Mojo um, can give you a lot of improvement using. First of all, let's see. Yeah, just adding types because it's, I think it, in compile time, it shouldn't give a difference because if, if it can infer it in compile time and it is really building that, uh, if you don't set the type, I'm not sure about this, but I think it should work. I'm not sure about like how it can be extended for the, some other library that doesn't exist. For example, if I search for like Mojo Torch import, can I do that really? Like, let me try that. Let me try that. So instead of importing this, let me import torch. Can I do this? I said no torch. Do I have torch? Yes, because if I go here in my Python and I say import torch, I have it, yeah? So 
Mm, maybe PyTorch. We need to do this. Okay, no torch. So, mm, Mojo doesn't know torch, yeah? If, I'm not sure about it, but seems like that. What about like other libraries like Pandas? Still no. Do I have it? Import Pandas SPD. Oh yeah. So, I don't know why it's not able to. Should I do something different? Like if I say mojo dash dash help, do we have something? Yeah, seems like module build, module package, compile a module package, format module doc. Okay. I don't know really, like maybe we need to dig into it. Maybe we need to install it somehow. So that's it. Like in terms of like licensing, I think it sucks in terms of uh, like searching so far, it's not good. I think if it was open source, it was really helpful for many projects in the future of AI. But let's see what will happen in the future. I personally prefer to, uh, instead of doing this, like invest on something that more uh, like related to what we can do. For example, I prefer Zeek programming um, for like a fast, I think this is the fastest uh, programming language so far. And there are a couple of good things about that is that you can compile C files there. Uh, you can compile C++, not C++ directly, but they are working on that. Like add a Z compilation, you need to see C++ project cross language, everything. And it is really fast and it is, the syntax is really good. Yeah, and it is also easier than learning Rust and working with Rust. And yeah, I, I have also seen some, for example, Zeek Lang binding for Zeek here, which is really good in terms of speed. If you see some of the example, for example, let's see the face detection. So for Zeek, just one file importing from Zeek CV. And you can you can import from C import in Zeek. It is not using that because you, you already have a library there. But overall, the syntax is really cool. Like for example, you say, create me a webcam, try it. If it is exist, and give me a webcam. Other than that, it would be an exception, I think. And it will try this also. And there is a defer to like remove the uh, initialization if there is some exist. And it's very cool, very simple if, if we can write on it. I prefer that, that we, we don't have any control over it. Yeah. Overall, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Have fun.